Hi everyone, this video explains you about the difference between gun diode and impact diode. Okay, see already I have explained you about the complete uh, details of this gun diode and impact diode. Now let us see what are the different uh, outlines and differences between these two gun diodes and impact diode. So first I will write the points related to the gun diode, later I will explain about the impact diode otherwise i can uh, i think i can write both parallelly here okay see here gun diode here it is impact diode impact diode we know what is the full form of impact diode impact ionization avalanche transit tank device and gun diode why it is the name of the gun gun is the name of this inventor jb gun okay so first one gun diode can be used gun diodes used in gun diodes used in oscillators gun diodes used in oscillators and are capable of broadband operation capable of broadband operation but whereas impact diode Broadband operation is not possible as compared to the gun diode. Broadband operation is not possible as in gun diode. Okay. Now coming to the second difference. These gun diodes possess much lower noise. Gun diode possess much lower noise. Coming to this impact diode, they are having more noise. They are having more noise i explained you when i was explaining this uh, impact diode only they are more immune to noise because why the noise is more in the impact diode can you guess what is the reason for this one because impact is nothing but it is a avalanche transit time device this avalanche transit time device is operating with the avalanche process what do you mean by avalanche process avalanche process is nothing but multiplication of charge carriers that means avalanche process itself is a noisy process because of you can write that uh, me uh, what is that reason here because of because of sorry because of avalanche process avalanche process noise is due to the avalanche process avalanche process is itself noisy that means charge carriers are going to be developed heavily okay output power is less in this gun diode output power is less for this gun diode and here more power output is obtained more power output is obtained so power is more here efficiency of this gun diode is also low efficiency of gun diode is low efficiency of this gun diode is low gun diode works with the gun effect 
okay which is nothing but low valley two valley region hope you remember efficiency is low and here efficiency of this impact diode efficiency is high for impact diode okay efficiency of this impact diode is low uh, high i told you already the specifications of this impact diode i have given you 30 percent of efficiency is there when you go for uh, silicon carbide material okay i will write here 30 percent efficiency is there for the compound material like silicon carbide and 15 percent is there if you go for a single uh, silicon layer and it is around 20 percent if you go for ga some gallium arsenide among these three 30 percent silicon carbide is very high efficiency when you go for silicon carbide materials which is nothing but compound material which is nothing but a compound material now so another difference is they can be used in pump oscillators gun diodes can be used in pump oscillators they are not used they are not used in pump oscillators they are not used in pump oscillators because of noisy problems because of noise problems now sixth one is comparatively low voltage supply is required gun diode is somewhat low voltage among the other microwave components comparatively comparatively low voltage supply is comparatively low voltage supply is required higher voltage supply is required higher voltage supply is higher voltage supply is required next one they can be used for low frequency operations used for low frequency operations gun diodes among these uh, microwave components gun diode is having low frequency and as well as low power they are used for high frequency operations used for high frequency operations this is a single crystal structure which is n plus n n plus which is a single crystal structure so gallium arsenide single crystal structure single crystal structure but here it is this has p sorry uh, p plus n n plus or n plus p i and p plus structure okay so if you want to go for the structure of these two individually this gun diode has the structure 
consisting of n plus n and n plus. All these are from the same semiconductor. So nothing but n type. That's why it is single crystal structure. Which is made up of a compound semiconducting layer that is gallium arsenide. Coming to this impact diode. Impact diode generally impact diode has vertical structure. Impact diode has uh, we can take it as a ninth point. Impact diode has vertical structure. Vertical structure So, it is P plus I and this is P and this is N plus. This is the vertical structure for our impact diode. So, it is having anode and this is having a cathode. Cathode terminal and this is the anode terminal. The structure is somewhat different when compared to the gun diode okay so I, to run impact diode relatively high voltage is required as stated earlier so tuning of impact diode is difficult as compared to gun diode so another important point is tuning of impact is difficult when compared to gun diode when compared to gun diode what, do you, what is the meaning of tuning tuning is nothing but producing different frequencies okay so that is easy getting the different types of frequencies is easy in gun diode but impact diode is it is somewhat different difficult okay so this is what the differences between this gun diode and the impact diode. Thank you.